guys so today i'm going to show you a very simple method of making the chinese sweet and sour chicken sauce here are the list of ingredients and measurements needed for making this soup depending on your quantity <clears throat> So for the record, this is my sister's sweet and sour chicken and gizzard sauce <laughs> because we always like to put gizzard because we love gizzard. So first we blend our pepper and onion mix. Sometimes you can put a little bit of ginger, that's if you love ginger. After we pour the pepper and onion mix into the chicken that we are about to boil, by the way, we do this because we love our soup to be peppery. We don't just we love the taste of pepper, literally. So let's give it some few minutes to boil. Oh, guys, it's right. ready. Our chicken and gizzard is done. So this time around, you remove, like, you take your chicken and gizzard out of the um, chicken stock that you got so that you can continue preparing the soup so now it's time to mix our corn flour some people call it potato starch yeah so literally this thickens the soup it helps the soup to thicken up that's the effect and corn flour actually has a lot of positive or nutritional value to human body sorry we are not like measuring everything we do <laughs> we are used to cooking the soup so we like literally know the amount of things to do but like i said if you check the description box you'll see the exact quantity of everything you need to when you mix your corn flour you make sure everything dissolves like every single thing dissolves so that um, your soup does not have unnecessary bombs. You get that. So, like I said earlier, you have to get your chicken and gizzard out of the stock. Some people actually don't use their chicken stock to prepare this soup, but for us, we love to use it because, like I said, this is our own recipe. And also, we are not just preparing for one person, we are preparing for like the whole family, so it gives the soup quantity. <laughs> Some people are already perceiving the aroma from the background, though they don't know what we are cooking, but they are answering already, yes ma. So, you are going to add your corn flour solution, which will serve as a thickener. For this, so I'm going to keep stirring it. At this juncture, you can decide to reduce the tomato ketchup. Yes, so you add your tomato ketchup. Why we use tomato ketchup is because it already has a sweet and sour taste. So it helps in enhancing the sweet and sour taste. As you can see, after some minutes, the soup has thickened up due to the corn flour. So this is kind of like my favorite part because I love lemon. So it's time to put your lemon juice in, squeeze it in. <laughs> Alright, this is the soy sauce. Sorry, 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 sauce. I'm going to add your carrot. I'm going to add your hot dog. Let's see that. 
that. That's not cool. <laughs> Our soup is almost done. Yeah. I'm going to put it right into our soup. Ooh. So at this point, if your soup is too the last ingredient, which is you know why this is coming up, so it doesn't melt inside. Heat doesn't melt it, you could feel the taste. The freshness, yeah. No, and behold, mm. the Chinese sweet and sour sauce is ready to be served with your basmati rice. Food is ready. <laughs> All, All right. right, guys. There's a missing footage of where we used the vinegar. The vinegar comes after using the tomato ketchup and just one spoon of vinegar is enough. Guys, we've come to the end of today's video. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in my next video. Have a happy, happy life. Love you. Mwah.